Good morning, I'm on site here at Electronica 2024 and today I'm pleased to be joined by Marco Doms who is the Senior Manager for Business Development of New Platforms at Littlefuse. And today we are going to be talking about the company's solutions for connected drug delivery systems. So it's a pleasure to have you here Marco, thanks for joining us. Thanks Paige, nice and why to don't, be here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, I'm uh, an electrical engineer by education. I have a PhD in MEMS. Um, before I joined Littlefuse in 2022, I was head of R&D in two sensor companies, mainly focusing on position sensors. Um, and I have a vast background in R&D management. I joined Littlefuse as an innovation manager. So I was head of our internal advanced development team and I introduced a new innovation process. Um, and since end of last year, I'm a business development manager responsible for new platforms. Okay, and why don't you tell us a little bit about Littlefuse as well? Littlefuse is a global diversified uh, technology company. Um, we, we partner or we try to partner with our customers um, to deliver innovative and very reliable solutions, um, empowering a sustainable, um, connected and safer world. Mm -hmm. And our products are found in a variety of applications and, and markets uh, like transportation, industrial um, and electronics. Excellent. And what are the new technologies and solutions that you're showcasing here at Electronica? I mean, of course, we, we also showcase our portfolio of well-known circuit protection uh, components for over, over temperature, over current, over voltage protection. Um, but there's two platforms that are quite new that we showcase. One is the T-Tape platform. That's a platform for distributed temperature monitoring, especially in lithium-ion battery packs. And then we are also showcasing solutions for connected drug delivery devices. That's a quite new market for us. Um, but we think that our, our components fit quite well into those applications as well. Okay, and last time we had you here, we, we spoke about the T-Tape platform. Exactly. So yeah. this time, let's speak about sort of your medical devices and the, and the connected drug delivery market. So can you give us a, a short overview of the connected drug delivery market and what applications are covered under it? Yeah, of course. I mean, applications include auto injectors for subcutaneous uh, injection of drugs. Um, inhalers, wearable injectors, uh, insulin pumps, CGMs, those small continuous glucose monitors you see more and more often. Um, and those devices are radically changing how services are being provided to patients. Um, they are helping to achieve lowering the healthcare cost and providing more comfort uh, to the patients, empowering the patients, and they also improve the therapy efficiency and therapy adherence. So they are really revo uh, revolutionizing the connected or the drug delivery market. Um, the whole market is growing at a quite high CAGR of uh, around about 25% and is uh, estimated to reach $250 billion in 2030. So it's a quite big market. Yeah, and it's certainly growing exponentially, but what are, the, what are the challenges that are going to come along with that, would you say? Well, usually there are purely mechanical solutions on the market. For example, let's, let's take a, an auto injector as an example. You probably know those fully mechanical auto injectors that you put on your arm, then you push a push button and a spring pushes down the, uh, a small piston delivering the drug uh, to the patient. Those are already on the market and they are approved by all the different regulatory uh, um, agencies like the FDA in the US. Usually companies don't want to change the outline or the mechanical aspect of these uh, devices. So if you want to put in electronics and make those devices connected, you have to deal with the space that is still available. So you, you always deal with a very, very small available space. So the packing density of active components is quite high and the components themselves need to be really small. That's probably the main um, difficulties when putting in electronics into these devices. So what unique technologies do you provide or, or are you developing um, for this market and to help mm. overcome those challenges? 
I mean, of course, our portfolio of overcurrent, over voltage, over temperature protection, uh, that can go into these devices. Same as our semiconductor uh, solutions like e-fuses, TVS diodes for, for ESD protection, or even gate drivers for motor control. But the solutions that we are also showcasing at Electronica this year are mechanical switches and magnetic switches at a very small uh, scale. And then um, also sensors, for example, for skin contact detection or measuring the amount of drug that has been delivered to the patient. I'm interested to hear, how, how does Little Fuse address things like power management and energy yeah. efficiency in drug delivery devices, especially considering sort of battery life constraints? That's a particularly important topic because these devices ha usually have a very small battery yeah. because of the refined space. Um, and they have a required shelf life of something between 12 and 24 months. Usually 18 months is a good, good number. But achieving a shelf life of 18 months with a small battery cell and then some electronics, that's really difficult. And that's one of the challenges that one of our products actually um, tries to solve by basically switching off the complete device while it's on the shelf and once you unpack it or remove the cap, the switch is activated and the whole device is powered up. So it's a very, very simple measure to manage the limited energy you have on such a system and enable a very long shelf life. Okay, and what about advancements in sort of the, the IoT, the Internet of Things? Mm. How has that influenced your approach to, to developing components for, for the drug delivery market? Yeah, it's, it's slightly the other way around. Okay. Basically, connected drug delivery devices are part of the IoT ecosystem, right? Um, and they, as I mentioned earlier, can help to improve the therapy adherence and the um, usability for the patients. There's a couple of studies out there that say that only 12.5% of patients adhere to the initial therapy plan. And that's a very low number, so the therapy efficiency is very low. And of course, you want to increase that number to make the therapies more efficient and make pa patients uh, healthy again. Mm -hmm. So that's the main goal, and the, uh, the connected drug delivery devices can help with that by, for example, monitoring how the patient uses the device and then reminding him um, if he missed a dose or if he underdosed or overdosed or something like that. Yeah. And if the patient is experiencing pain, for example, um, the device can also help him to use the device in a better way to reduce the pain. So there's a lot of interaction between the patient and the drug delivery device that can really help the patient, but can also help improve the therapy. And can you give us an example um, of a, a particular um, connected drug delivery device and, and the different sort of little fuse technologies that are in it? Yeah, I actually brought a small demo unit. It's uh, mimicking an auto-injector pen, so you can maybe recognize it. Um, and there are several little fuse technologies built in. Of course, the whole uh, circuit protection portfolio that I cannot demonstrate here, yeah. But there's also a few that I can demonstrate. For example, this is the cap on cap op detection that I just talked about. Uh, there's a small switch here. And if you uh, take off the cap, the whole device is powered on, indicated by this LED. Then we have dose dialing to set the dose, for example, for insulin or other drugs, and activation of the device. Uh, for example, there's also a reset button. And then we also have uh, skin contact detection. Uh, indicating that the device is really in contact with the patient's skin, yeah. locking the activation mechanism um, to make sure that the injection is really delivered to the patient. So those, is, those are some technologies that we could or can provide into these applications. Brilliant. And it's, from, from what you're telling me, it's a really sort of fascinating space to be working in. So what emerging trends do you see in sort of the connected drug delivery space and how yeah. are you preparing to, to meet the future demands? Yeah. Well, there's actually two trends that drive the, um, the development of these devices. One is, as I already mentioned, uh, increasing the therapy efficiency. And then on the other hand side, you want to bring more and more therapies 
from the hospital to the patient's home to reduce the cost and to make the therapy more comfortable for the patients. So if the patient has some kind of cancer therapy, they need to drive to the hospital, get the infusion there and then drive back. So that's not comfortable for the patient. If you could get that uh, injection by an on-body delivery system at home, would make it way more comfortable, um, especially considering the condition the patient is in. Yeah. So that's the whole idea. Yeah. Improving therapy efficiency and then bringing patients from the hospital to home. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see how sort of products in this area develop. Me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, finally then, Marco, why don't you tell us a little bit about your partnership with DigiKey and how you see that benefiting your customers? Yeah. DigiKey is Littlefuse's uh, sample partner, so all the samples we send out to customers go via DigiKey. Um, DigiKey always provides a very good customer service and a very good customer support. That's what our customers and we value uh, ex extremely uh, highly. Mm -hmm. And then uh, customers also value or appreciate the fast order processing. That's probably outstanding in the distribution world. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Marco. It's a pleasure to welcome you You're back. Welcome. And thank you for bringing the product along to demonstrate yeah. as well. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot.